Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. Welcome to the third in the series of PowerPoint Auto Shapes Tricks. The trick that you are going to learn today is how to get more auto shapes than the ones available in the auto shapes menu. Let me explain this a little more. Let me escape this and let us go to the auto shapes menu here. As you can see, there are a number of shapes available in auto shapes like lines, rectangles, block arrows, equation shapes, flow chart, etc. But some very useful shapes like these bent arrows, gear shapes, funnels are not available as part of the auto shapes menu. So where do we get these shapes from? We can always get them from one unexpected resource and that is your smart art diagrams. Let me show you what I mean by this. Let me go to control M and control M is the shortcut for uh, new slide and let me choose a blank layout and what I'm going to do is let me go to insert smart art and you can always take a look at all the various smart art diagrams here and choose the shapes that you want to include as part of your uh, library of auto shapes. Let me show you a couple of examples. First let us go to process and the shape that seems to look very interesting is this bent arrow which is part of process and it is called as upward arrow. I am going to click OK. Now once it is done I am going to right click and go to group ungroup. You can also do this. Let me press Ctrl Z. You can also convert this to auto shapes by going to the design tab and convert and convert to shapes. So let me do that. And once it is done, let me group and then ungroup. Let me ungroup this one and I'm going to remove every other uh, shape apart from the one shape that I want to retain. So let me remove that. And here, this shape that you got here behaves just like any other auto shape. What I mean by this is, say for example, you want to move, you want to increase the size of this arrowhead, you can always do that by pulling this yellow handle to the left. And say you want to increase the width of the stem here, you can do that by moving the yellow handle down. So this behaves exactly like an auto shape. And this is a fabulous treasure house of nice auto shapes for your uh, business lights. Let me get another example here. This time I'm going to use say under process the shape that I'm going to use is gears. So click OK. Same way while the bonding box is selected convert to shapes. Now we are going to select this and ungroup and once I am once it is done you have this one which is an eight shaped eight teeth um, gear another one the six the gear with six teeth so they are all available for you to use in your other slides so let me take all this and delete let me take another one insert smart art and this time under process what I'm going to use is this one called as funnel so click OK again right click group ungroup once again group ungroup and there I am so this one and this one are now available for me to use and once this is done I can really color them the way I want say for example I'm gonna click on this one and let me choose say a red color and not only that, I am going to choose a gradient of this type, so linear right. And as you can see, it's, it's a very beautiful uh, gradient color that we have got for this funnel. And even this, you can color it maybe with a light color and maybe gradient and gradient linear down. And there you are, your funnel shape is ready. Once you have something like this, you can always create some very interesting slides like this where you have put some additional uh, bent arrows here and you've created this nice design slide. So that is how you use smart art graphics to add to your auto shapes library. So that is the trick that you've learned for today and coming to these funnel shapes I'm going to show you some 
Variations of Funnel Shapes taken from our PowerPoint CEO Packs Volume 1 and 2 and the first example template is this one which is a four layered filter and as you can see here the various uh, the balls are falling into the fi uh, filter and they come out in a different color or things like that and you have some place for you to write your text and this is another example of a funnel diagram where you have input and output shown and again you have a place for you to write your text another example of funnel diagram is this one where you have stage wise filter and you have a very nice sheen that makes the diagram look very attractive and each stage is um, created using this particular text which comes on click and coming to gears let me show you an example of a gear diagram like this one which represents three connected processes so these are the various ways in which you can use the auto shapes you get from the smart art graphics if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself you can always take a look at off the shelf solutions like our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 the two ceo packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for ceos and busy business presenters like you just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional quality business slides has never been easier hope you liked our tutorial on getting more auto shapes using smart art if you want to learn more such tutorials, watch videos, or you want to read articles to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.